Hi this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video we will see about how to set up a react project using wheat. Traditionally you might have seen creating a react project using create react app. There are some developer issues with create react app. We can make use of wheat to make your developer experience better. Some of the issues which wheat resolves are slow server start. Whenever you do some file edit, it can take a couple of seconds to be reflected in the browser. Those kind of complications will be reduced by using wheat. And with this, we will start with the wheat. To install wheat and to create a new project with wheat, you need to enter the command npm create wheat at latest. Here you can specify any particular version if you have, or else if you want to take the latest version, you can mention it as latest followed by the project name here i'm just giving it a sample project and click enter once you click enter it will ask for what kind of project it is you can select vanilla project vanilla is plain javascript doesn't have any framework you can select view react lit svelte or others in this case i'm gonna create a react project so i'm selecting react here and then here one key thing to notice there is two different versions uh, one is typescript and then there is also javascript version in addition to that you can also find typescript with swc and javascript with swc so the typescript with swc here swc stands for speedy web compiler it is a super fast typescript or javascript compiler written in rust my personal recommendation is like if you are building a project production go to this swc project and this is the speedy web compiler and go to the issues and if you feel like the issues are really high i recommend you to go with the typescript or javascript without swc but for this example i'm gonna select typescript but it is up to you you can even select javascript and now we are done we have created a brand new project named sample project now i will go into that particular folder enter the command npm install npm install is a very basic command it will install all the dependencies mentioned in the package.json here in this case it automatically created a package.json and it also has different dependencies the dependencies are react and react dom and 18 version number and then we also have some dev dependencies and vt says dev dependencies this won't be bundled during production and then you also have some scripts dev build lint and preview and here i'm just gonna install the dependencies to install the dependencies enter the command npm install this will take some time once the installations are done to run the project enter the command npm run dev now the project is started in the default port the default port is 5173 so now click this and it will automatically take you to the browser or else you can copy and paste this even choose the browser of your choice and here in this case i'm using google chrome we can able to see the project the skeleton project is running and this is a typescript project that's why we are seeing tsx if you are as javascript you will see it as jsx and for the javascript files it will be like js and uh, for typescript it will be like ts now this is a simple counter app now go back to the application now if you want to do some changes you can change here before that i want to show you what this project comprises of so the base is index.html this is the root and uh, here we have a root id and if you go back to the main.txs react dom picks the get element by id and then root and then here go back to the main.txx and here you are uh, providing the app the app is a starting point and here in the app you have the script directly mentioned here this is the project structure and you also have wheat.config.tx we'll take off this one wheat plus react now we'll save this once you saved it will update and then as soon as it updates you can able to see that changes are readily available in the browser now we will see how to change the default port here in this case you have the default port as 5173 so to change the default port go to wheat.config.ts enter a new property named server colon and here enter port and it also has a lot of other different properties you can able to see here CORS or headers open port so here i'm just gonna select port and here instead of uh, 5173 
you can enter anything of your choice here i'm just entering 3000 and then save once you save this you can able to see it is very instantaneously changed now no longer the application is running in the port 5173 it got changed to 3000 so if you go back and refresh this this will fail because this application is no longer running in this particular port so if you change to 3000 you can able to see the changes here and this is about the wheat and here if you want to do some changes you can do these changes here app.tsx and uh, here you can also create your own files and you can reference those modules or components here thanks for watching for more technical videos subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful share it with your friends thank you